nigga be lame. How the fuck with you, nigga? Y'all pull up with you, nigga. I'm done with you, nigga. I love the hood, nigga. I keep my two, nigga. And I love my guns, nigga. You like the video within five seconds, or you're gonna airball a wide open shot with your takeover. I would not risk it. Yo, what's good, Lock and Love Nation? Coming at y'all with another banger, another dribble tutorial, a very simple yet effective, easy as hell to do dribble guide, ISO guide type, whatever you want to call it, move. You are gonna learn how to do it behind the back from the paint or anywhere inside the three point line to the three point line you're gonna get so many kills for threes i can't stress enough how easy this move is to do now in order to do this move you are going to need behind the back pro 5 equipped after this video you will be doing the behind the back to the three point line and you will be getting easy threes and this will be adding more points to your game just off of this simple move so I would appreciate a like let's get this video to 50 likes that's doable I'm easy and also if you're new hit that subscribe button turn on post bell notifications it's the least you can do for me plugging you with this easy yet ISO God type move that's enough talking on to the tutorial. Alright, so like I said, this move is super easy. Anyone can do this. You need the Pro 5 behind the back. So, I'm going to tell you the situation that you might want to use. You can honestly use it from the start because most people aren't going to expect this. It's not a lot of people do it. I don't know why. It's super easy yet effective and it looks nice. It kind of looks advanced, I guess. I guess you could say it looks dribble god-ish. I don't know. I'll let y'all decide that. But not many people do it. I don't think I've seen anyone do it besides me. Like this particular behind the back to the three point. Everyone does the spin or even a crossover. But not behind the back to the three point. I'm wondering why that is. And a lot of ISO players use Pro 5 behind the back. But whatever. So honestly you don't really have to do moves get by your man right. Like you can honestly just do like a cross behind the back and just get a speed boost get around him for an easy dunk like most people are let's just say not very good at defense right but let's say you're beating him to the basket the same way just about every time right he's gonna be determined to cut off that angle so as he's trying to cut off the angle well that's when you're gonna go behind the back right now here's how you do it let's say your ball is in your left hand you're gonna hold RT and you know, sprint towards the basket. We know how to drive to the basket, right? And when you're ready to do the behind the back, you let go of RT and flick down on the right step. That's how you get that behind the back. Now, once you get that behind the back, like I said, you're letting go of RT to get this behind the back. So you're gonna point the left stick in a direction that you wanna go. I was going down right diagonal on the left stick. That's the direction I wanted to go. So, just like that. And you hold RT again as you're going towards the three point line to get a little extra speed boost. So, hold RT, sprint, let go, flick down, hold in the direction, and hold RT. And once you get to the spot that you want to shoot, you're going to let go of RT again and flip down on the right stick to get this behind the back feet set. Now, you can also do a hesitation. I'll show that right now. Which you're flicking up on the right stick. To me, that's a little slower. You have time to recover. And I don't really like shooting out of that. Shooting off the behind the back in any situation, even like this, I just love shooting off behind the back because it's super quick and it's just really smooth to shoot out of that. And I voice crack, but that's okay. We're holding right stick. Sprint towards basket. Let go. Down on the right stick. And as you're sprinting back to three point, hold RT and hold the left stick in the direction you want to go. 
and once you get to the shooting spot, flick down on the right stick. And that should add, take your time, make sure your feet are set because you saw the clips. You're gonna get a lot of space most of the time because most people aren't gonna expect it. Now I'm gonna show you a quick counter move. Let's say you did it and they're expecting it and they actually chase you to the three point line and you can't get the shot off. Well, then you're gonna have an easy lane to the basket because then you can reverse behind the back out of this. And if you don't know how to do the reverse behind the back, I actually have a video on that. It's just as easy, if not easier than this. So, you do behind the back, he's chasing you, oh no, bam, get around him, easy dunk. It's unguardable. That's pretty much the only counter move you need. Now, if you have enough stamina, I never had to do this, but just in case, let's, let's just say he somehow is able to recover off of that reverse behind the back, which I'll tell you, it's not going to happen. In fact, no one really recovers off that behind the back, so I never had to do the reverse behind the back. I'm just thinking what if they recover, because you're going to face a good defender one day. And he's going to know. But you can do your behind the back, reverse behind the back. Let's say he recovers off that. Then you can spin. And yeah. Hopefully I can get a faster spin animation than that. And if you want to know my signature styles, I do have a video on that as well. In reverse behind the back. And even how to speed boost. Even though that was a horrible speed boost right there. And it looks like this video is a lot longer than I planned it to be. Oh, and if you have the ball in the right hand, it's the same thing. Just the opposite. But you're pointing the sticks on the opposite side. So, you know, sprint. The only difference is you're going down left diagonal on the left stick. Everything else is the same, including this behind the back. This is always going to be down without holding RT or R2. But... If you did not understand anything, because I know I didn't have a hand cam, I really am having trouble getting the hand cam on, I'm not going to lie to y'all, and honestly, I don't think there's a need for a hand cam. Once I get more advanced and I can become a dribble guy, like, I don't know, learn how to moonwalk, <laughs> that was a really cringe attempt at even starting it, but I will be determined to get a hand cam in that situation. Now, I actually asked a good friend of mine who has a YouTube channel doing dribble tutorials to help me. His name's Supreme BTG. He comments on most of my videos. Very underrated. We're going to blow up together. Check out his channel as well. If y'all enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on post bell notifications. We are on the road to 5k. There's your end screen. If you want to have a speed boost, do that reverse behind the back that I showed. They're both there along with the signature styles. And that subscribe button's there too. Make sure you click it if you haven't already. But, till next time, I am out. Peace.